we have been incredibly disadvantaged from, from all of this. Uh, the displacement has re really um, did not work well. Toronto Raptors President Masai Ujiri speaking with the media today about the grueling season the team just finished. Masai, his contract's up with the team, but will he stay? Uh, going to weigh a few of the options and um, just uh, give, give this thing some deep thought now uh, as, I, as I go through this process. Sportsnet's Michael Grange reported earlier this week that Ujiri's contract was actually slated to expire on June 30th, but because of the delayed season, there's a bit of flexibility with the date. Masai helped build a team that brought the Raptors their first championship. Part of the championship team was Fred Van Vliet, who this week called Masai the second best Raptor in history after Kyle Lowry. It, it's hard for me because um, these guys are incredible for me. Um, to hear them say that, yeah, I, I, I honestly sometimes don't know what to say. Our players, um, the coaches, the staff, I, they're incredible for me. An emotional Masai Ujiri also said during the Zoom call that there are a lot of options to consider about his contract and what he hears from the Raptors' ownership will determine his future in the city. And a former Raptor got a pretty big call this weekend. Chris Bosch found out he will be inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame this year. Playing games, I wanted to be great. And I always thought of myself um, as a Hall of Famer, but it was just an aspiration, you know, at that time. It was something I visualized about and, and, and really, really meditated on. Chris Bosch started his career with the Toronto Raptors and was here for seven seasons before going to Miami to play with Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. How do you feel, you know, your journey with the franchise that you still have a bunch of records for kind of helped your journey <laughs> to the Hall? It was, it's been everything, you know, um, that's one of the things that I found myself really reflecting on, thinking about the whole journey, thinking about being that little skinny 210 pound kid with no facial hair coming to Canada, you know, <laughs> I had never been to Toronto, I had never, I hadn't even been to many NBA games, but that's um, that's where the journey started uh, uh, professionally. To watch more of the interview with Chris Bosch, open up the camera on your phone, scan the code on your screen, and it will take you to the extended edition where he talks about his favorite moment as a Toronto Raptor.